Hi, I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and you are viewing video number one of the Aaron Sampler Mystery Throw. Today we are going to crochet the first square that we're going to use in our throw and I'm just showing you that I'm going to be using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Carrot just in case you wanted to follow along and do what I'm doing. Um, you don't, however, have to have this particular yarn. You can do any worsted weight yarn of your choosing. I am going to recommend that you use crochet hook size J or 10, which is um, 6.00 millimeter. You're also going to need another hook later on, which is size I or 9 or 5.50 millimeter. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on our first square. Um, the first square that I'm going to make, and I am going to make uh, four of these for my entire project. This is called the four post cable. I'm going to start by using a slip knot, and I am using the larger crochet hook, and I'm going to crochet 46 chains. Now, so I don't lose count, I like to crochet in groups of five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll reposition six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reposition again. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and so on. So that way, when I stop, if I need to answer someone's question, I can just stop on a multiple of five, and it's easier to remember than just a random number. Well, go ahead and finish this chain all the way to forty-six. Okay, starting in the third chain from the hook. I am going to make a half double crochet. Now if you've never done a half double crochet, I'll give you a real quick tutorial. You wrap the hook, you're going to stick it into one loop of the chain, pull up that loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. So go ahead and do that all the way across. Now I do want to, to say one thing about working in the chains. I prefer to work in one loop along the side of the chain here. If you prefer to use the back bump, feel free to do that, although I think it's going to be more difficult when we do our final round. If you crochet in the side, when we come back for our perimeter round using a contrasting color, we're going to go right into the same hole again, and the rest of the chain is going to be concealed. So if you're worried about the chain showing, have no fear. That will all take care of itself in time. Okay, so just go ahead and finish those half double crochets all the way across the row. After crocheting row one, you should have a piece that looks like this. Um, if by chance your foundation row is curling a lot, you may want to go back and rework that chain a little looser or perhaps using a size larger crochet hook so that it will not be very tight. It's very important that, this, that you take time to do this now because if this particular row is really tight, it's going to be a different uh, size and your squares will not be um, symmetrical. All right, so now we're going to go on to row two. I'm going to chain two, turn. I'm going to work half double crochets in the first stitch. This is not part of the cable yet. This is just to have a little bit of a border uh, around the cables that we're going to be working. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to begin in the third and then we'll go to the fourth. Um, we're going to work a front post treble crochet. I've already wrapped my hook twice and don't be afraid of um, post stitches. Um, they are actually easier. Instead of working in through the top loops, what you do, what we're going to do is we're going to go around the hook. I'm sorry, go around the stitch using the hook. It's almost like you're giving it a belt. And we're going to just complete the treble crochet the way we normally would. Let's do another one of those. We're going to go in the front door and come out the side, giving this a belt. We complete our treble crochet. Now we're going to work in front of the last two stitches we just made, and we're going to front post treble in these two stitches that we skipped. Make sure that you are starting on the third stitch. It can be easy to get these stitches mixed up. Okay, so we're going to just give it a belt. Okay, and we're going to do one more of those. 
the other stitch that was skipped. So after we complete that first cable, we're going to repeat this across the row. We're going to skip the next two stitches. We're going to front post, treble, crochet, and the next two stitches. Again, wrapping that hook around the body of the stitch, just like so. Working in front of the two stitches we just did, we're going to crochet front post trebles in the two skipped stitches, each one at a time. Okay, so go ahead and continue this all the way across the row. Skip two, front post treble, the next two stitches, working in front of the two stitches we just completed, you're going to front post treble crochet in the next two stitches. And let's top and take a look at this. Okay, so I've completed three or crossing of the cables row, um, crossing of the cables here, and you're going to do this until you have ten that look like this and then I'll show you what to do in the last two stitches. Now that I've worked this all the way across the row, I do have 10 cables begun, and you should have two stitches left. We're just gonna work half double crochets in each of those stitches. We're not working in the turning chain, so make sure that you don't do that. Okay, now we're gonna chain two, turn, and we're ready to work row number three. Okay, and the rows two that we just worked and three are the two rows that you're going to repeat for this pattern. Okay, we're going to half double crochet in the first two stitches. Now this is where it gets easy. All along we're going to just work back post double crochets. For a back post double crochet you wrap the hook like you would in a double crochet and I'm going to just wrap this, the, the hook, around that post stitch coming in the, from the back side, from the back door basically. I'm tying it in the back and then we complete that double crochet. This one might be a little trickier. Make sure you come around, wrap that hook around that third stitch and then complete your double crochet or back post treble. I'm sorry, back post double. Getting my terms mixed up. So up for the fourth stitch, just bring the hook around and complete the double crochet. Don't underestimate how your left hand, or your, I should say your non-dominant hand, if you're left-handed it would be your right hand, your non-dominant hand plays in these stitches. In time as you practice these, the, the um, feelers in your hand are going to actually help you to know where the stitches are to go. Even to the point I dare say that you could do these in the dark um, in time because you're not as dependent on um, going through the top loops. Okay, we're just wrapping it around. So go ahead and do that all the way across the row. When I get to the end of the row, it ends just like row two. We work half double crochets in each of those remaining stitches. Okay, let's take a look at what this should look like from the back side. And don't worry that this is actually curling forward because that's going to change as we add other rows. So this is what we should have so far. Okay, now we're ready to start the next row, which is actually uh, row four, which is a repeat of row two. So at this point we're going to repeat rows two, then three, two, then three. We start with the chain two, and then half double crochet in the first two stitches. After do that, we're going to do just like we did with row two, skip two, and we're going to front post treble crochet in the next two stitches. Wrap that hook around that stitch and then complete that treble. Now working in front of these two stitches, we're going to front post treble crochet in the two stitches that we skipped. It should be easier to see these stitches or to see where they go. As you see, the cables unfold. Ok, 
Okay, so you see this cable starting to develop. We just do that again. Skip two, front post, treble, and the next two stitches. And then working in front of these two stitches, go ahead and front post, treble crochet in the two skipped stitches. So go ahead and do that all the way across the row. Just like as in row two, we have double crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, for row five, I'm gonna go ahead and start you, but I think you're gonna understand what to do now. If not, you can always uh, go back in the earlier part of this video and find out. Okay, we're just repeating rows two and three, which is chain two, this is for row five, chain two, half double crochet in the first two stitches. Now this is with, again, the back side facing. So this is with the wrong side facing. We just work back post double crochets all the way across. Not trebles, but double crochets is the shorter stitch, shorter than the treble. Okay, and so we're gonna do that all the way. And then when we get to the end of the row, we are simply gonna work our half double crochets in the remaining stitches. So go ahead and do this until you have approximately 10 of the cables in a column. Okay, now that I've completed 25 rows, rows one through 25, I should still have 12 cables across and there should be about, or there should be exactly 12 crossing of the cables um, that would be a repeat of row two in this square. Okay, when you fold it in half or, or from corner, if you take corner to corner, you should you should have a triangle. It, it should be very square at this point. Okay, now I'm gonna have you change to the smaller hook, the size I or nine. And we are going to work our perimeter round. We're going to do this by chaining one, and with the front side facing, we're going to work single crochets all the way across to the corner. Okay, so go ahead and do that single crochet that's working through both loops like you normally would in a crochet project. Work that all the way across to the first corner. After working all the way across, I have exactly 44 single crochets from the beginning of the perimeter round to the corner right here. Okay, I'm gonna turn my work 90 degrees. I'm gonna chain two, and I'm gonna work a single crochet in the same place as the last single crochet was worked. Now this will count as our first crochet in what we're about to do next. Okay, now we are going to work single crochets across the row ends of our square. Um, and in order to do this, we're going to have to be a little careful that we do this evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you find the center, this, or at least this is one technique that I like to use. I'm going to find the center. So if we have 12 of these cables, so if 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would be the halfway point. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that spot with a little, I'm using actually my, um, my, my needle here. You can use a stitch marker, whatever you want to use, and that's approximately halfway in the square. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to work in 22 stitches from here to the point here where the marker is, and then from here on I'm going to do the other 22 stitches. Um, that way I don't have to rip out um, everything if it doesn't turn out to be 44 stitches total. So you're going to be working, again to repeat myself, um, starting with this. This will be number one in the corner. We're going to go from this corner to the next corner and we're going to work 44 stitches evenly along the row end. So go ahead and I'll go ahead and start this, but I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. If you need to, to rip it out because it doesn't come out even, that's okay. It may take you know a couple tries to get this right, but we do want them to be as evenly distributed as possible. Okay, so go ahead and try to work those 
all the way across. Okay, after working my 44 stitches as evenly as I can all the way across. Now if it doesn't look perfectly even, please don't worry about that because the color is the same. It will blend in well and we're actually going to come around later with a contrasting color that we're going to use to put the entire um, afghan or throw together and that will look much more even when you come through the second row there or second perimeter round. Okay, so now I'm going to turn 90 degrees again. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to single crochet in the same place where the last single crochet was worked. Now, we don't want to add any stitches, so I'm going to have you skip the first stitch because this first this stitch here is going to count as the first stitch of the row across here. So, by skipping that first one, this is going to maintain our 44 um, stitch count. Just trust me on this. So um, you should have 44 stitches all the way across. Again, we added added the one here in the same place as as actually the turning chain. So that's why we're actually skipping that. So go ahead and working in what is left of that turning chain. If you have a hard time seeing, just look at where the stitch is, and it's the opposite opposite that stitch. So just go ahead and work in those remaining loops of that foundation chain all the way across to the next corner. After working all the way across the foundation chain, go ahead and chain two, turn 90 degrees, and now we're going to be working across another um, row, which I guess is the, the row ends, and we're going to do just like we did before, put a single crochet after your chain two, single crochet in the first in the last place actually where you made the last single crochet of the last section and go ahead and work 44 stitches remember this is stitch number one as you count these 44 stitches evenly across to to the beginning of where we started this perimeter round after working 44 stitches all the way across on this edge we're going to chain two and join with a slip stitch and the very first single crochet of the round, like so. Okay, now we're ready to discontinue or our fasten off. I'm going to go ahead and make a chain, give it a tug, and I'm going to cut a decent, you know, four to five inches so that I have enough thread to, or yarn rather, to thread into the yarn needle when we start to hide all these loose ends. So, I am done with my first square. I'm going to go ahead and make three more of these and um, then I'll be done with working this particular style of square, the four post cable. Okay, after we finish that round, I am going to go ahead and show you how to trim all your squares. I'm not going to show this on every every you know style of square. You, you're going to know to do this, but I'm going to show you on the first square. Um, so in case you have your contrasting color, now you can choose whatever color you want um, to do this, or if you're going to make your entire throw a solid color, you, you probably could even skip this part. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, coffee color yarn. And I'm going to go ahead and join in the turning chain. I'm going to just put it right in, or the, the chain two corner, I should say. And I'm going to go ahead and join my yarn. And I'm going to go ahead and make a single crochet right there. And then this is this is in the corner, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work a single crochet all the way across to the first corner. So if you want to go ahead and do that with me, go ahead and crochet in each single crochet, even the last single crochet across, which will be one of those corner single crochets. Go ahead and, and do that all the way across. It's, it's kind of hard to see the contrast there. There you go. Okay, after working this contrasting color all the way across, I just wanted to show you what to do with the corners. We're going to single crochet in that chain two corner. We're going to chain two and then do another single crochet in that chain two corner. So I wanted to show you 
how your corners should look. All right. Now I'm going to just work a single crochet and every single crochet all the way across. Now keep in mind that this one here, that is your first single crochet. It'd be real easy to just go over that, but you don't want to do that. You, you don't want to skip this. You want to keep the count the same. And let me speak about the count now. Um, we were at 44 stitches across when we were using the orange, but now that we have added the contrasting color, we're going to add one for each corner. So we should have a total of 46 single crochets across. And this goes for every side of the square. It's very important that you maintain the stitch count, especially when you um, crochet these together. So go ahead and single crochet all the way around the square, working each corner just like so. And I will show you the final connect. After crocheting all the way around all four sides and in every stitch, go ahead and work your last single crochet in the same space as the chain two space where you first joined. Okay, I know this dark yarn is hard to see, but honestly, you want it to be dark yarn, or, um, or at least I'm choosing to, for it to be dark yarn so that um, a lot of these seams won't be. Uh, standing out too much. So after that go ahead and slip stitch after the chain two slip stitch in that first stitch of the round first single crochet give it a chain give it a tug and go ahead and cut a nice long yarn so that it will be easy to be hidden later using your yarn needle. Okay so now I am officially done with this square. Um, if you decide to you can always delay doing the contrasting color, especially if you're using a lot of your own yarn stash and you just have no idea what color you want to trim it in, you know, you can always do that at a later date once you get all your squares together and then, you know, look at the colors at the same time and, and decide that way. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. This is the end of the first square and join me next week, same channel. Uh, and I will show you video number two on the second square of the Aaron Sampler Mystery Throw. God bless. Bye-bye.